It's Friday, time for another weekly update. In case you missed it, Dead End Barbecue reigned supreme in my Twitter poll asking users their favorite restaurant for pulled pork in East Tennessee. Now my friend George Ewart, founder of Dead End Barbecue, smokes some mean pulled pork, but you can't go wrong with the others on the list like Archer's Barbecue, Buddy's Barbecue, or Calhoun's either. The trustee recently sent out property tax notices, so it's a good time to remind everyone that the trustee's office offers a brand new service called the Mobile Office Program. If you suffer from mobility limitations or health issues that restrict you from leaving your home, they will come to you to assist with tax freeze and tax relief programs, including the application process. This program is designed specifically to help the elderly and disabled as well as disabled veterans and is free of charge. If you'd like to see if you qualify, please call 865-215-4331. Parks and Rec will host its end of the year Sunset Cinema program tonight, Friday the 13th at Corrington Park with a Halloween themed double feature. The event kicks off at 7.30 with free activities and games. Movies begin at dusk and there will be food trucks, vendors, and costume contests for adults and youth. The event is free and open to the public, but please note that no alcoholic beverages are allowed in the park. Many of us know families who have been impacted by the tragic loss of a pregnancy or infant. The Knox County Health Department and community partners invite all those who have been touched by a loss to participate in the observation of Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day this coming Monday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at Lakeshore Park's Marble Hall. Those who attend will have the opportunity to drive through a visual display remembering their baby's loss and gather with other families. The hope is that this event, in some small way, provides an opportunity to honor the lives of children taken far too soon. More information, including a link to register, is available on the Health Department's website. Serving our nation's armed forces is one of the highest callings you can answer. United States Army Specialist Jeremy Evans a 2019 Gibbs High School graduate, answered that call to serve in July 2020. He married his high school sweetheart and was stationed at Fort Wainwright, Alaska. He tragically lost his life in a training accident on October 2nd. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends at this time. Despite the dangers and inherent risks our men and women in uniform face, I'm always amazed at the bravery and unwavering commitment to selfless service they exemplify. Specialist Evans chose to help defend the rights and freedoms that we far too often take for granted. As we look around the world and see so much destruction and pain, we should remember that our liberties come at a cost and never forget those who have sacrificed everything to preserve them. I also believe that our policymakers have a duty to support our service members by keeping them out of harm's way as much as possible. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.